Welcome back guys. So continuing the series of Kobita Zona Solutions 2020. Today we'll be attempting railway station, right? Now let's move on to the problem description. Given schedule of trains and their stoppage time at a railway station, find minimum number of platforms needed. Okay. If train A's departure time is X and train B's arrival time is X, then we can't accommodate train B on the same platform as train A. Okay, sir. Now look at the constraints here. The constraint tells you a lot about the solution, the approach that you should be using. Because it tells you about the complexity with which you should be, you know, uh, attempting the question. Here we have the constraint, the higher constraint is 10 to the power 5. And we know that a normal computer can only perform 1 million instructions per second, that is 10 to the power of 6. So now I know that either I should use, you know, either I should use a order n or order log uh, n log n approach. Why? Because I can't use n square approach. If I use that approach, then I'll I might pass the public test cases. But I will definitely fail the private test cases. I'll get a TLE. You can even use a shorter or oh, sorry, a complexity less than this n, log, n login. That is up to you. Okay. So basically, now we know that uh, you know how much loops we should be using, what idea you should be using. Okay. So <clears throat> that is why constraints are really, really important. Now let's look at the input. First line contains n denoting number of trains. Next n line contains two integers a and b denoting the arrival time and stoppage time of the train. Okay, so stoppage time, not the departure time. Output. Single integer denoting the minimum number of platforms needed to accommodate every train. Okay, so we have, we have a great example. We have three trains. One arrives at 10 and it leaves at 12. Okay, the another train arrives at 5. It stays for 10 or uh, for 10 seconds and it leaves at 15. Okay, another train arrives at 13 and it stays for 5 seconds and it leaves at 18. Okay, so now most of the students, what will they do is they try to make a connection. They try to make, you know, they try to actually uh, make a some, make some sort of pair or something. Uh, which will actually you know always uh, which will always follow this rule that uh, 10 will always stay with 12 5 will always stay with 15 and 13 will always stay with 18 but 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 if you do this you have fallen into their trap why because you are actually uh, trying to form a connection and forming a connection forming a connection what do you mean of forming a connection it means that you are actually trying to always think that okay this train arrives at 10 then this should be the one that leaving at 12 okay but don't do that why because that is useless how to solve this question in a shorter approach in a simplicity why how so the very simple thing is just go and check if a platform is vacant or not if it uh, just move on to the arrival time and check a train is arriving at uh, let's suppose a train is arriving at 12 and you check that has a train left before 12 if a train has not left before 12 which means the platform is not vacant then you just do one thing you simple thing you increase the number of platforms okay and then you move on, you, uh, then you move forward and you see that uh, you check again has a train left before this number if it has not then you just uh, sorry if it has then you just decrease the number of platform that we have okay i think you might be getting confused so i'll just show you what i want to say so i'll first the first thing that i'll be doing is i'll sort my arrival time and my departure time okay why basically i'm using a greedy algorithm and greedy means that you choose which solution you think is best the optimal at that particular moment okay so let's just sort it uh, if uh, this is my arrival time 10 5 and 13 okay if i sort this i'll get 5 10 and 13 and this is my departure time 12 15 and 18 okay so 12 15 and 18 okay so how will i start this my how will i start my solution very simple i'll uh, you know i'll just have something i'll just create a variable platform number okay total platform basically platform number okay total platform whatever it is sorry so i'll always start with assumption that i have used one platform why because uh, sorry i'll uh, i'll create two pointers a arrival pointer and a departure pointer my arrival pointer will point to this second element and my departure pointer will point to this okay why so my platform number will always be one and it denotes that there is already a train at a platform okay so we have already used one platform and a train is currently stationed there great now uh, this is where my arrival pointer is currently and this is where my departure pointer is currently so i check the value of this with this is it smaller or greater if arrival pointer is smaller than departure pointer it means that another train has arrived at 10 second but but none of the train has left but none of the train has left why because the departure time the minimum departure time is 12 second okay so the train will leave at 12 but two trains have already arrived at 5 and 10 so i'll increase my platform number which means I, now i need two platforms okay by the way platform number doesn't seem good so let's just say total platform okay so it means that now i need two platforms okay and uh, i've checked my condition and now i'll move my arrival po arrival pointer to this point okay 13 now i'll compare 13 with 12 and what do i see that 
okay a train arrives at 13 and one train has left at 12 okay so what does it mean that now i have a free platform okay now i have a free platform so what will i do i'll just decrease the total number of platform i just i'll just decrease it from 2 to 1 okay and i'll now i'll move my departure pointer to one step forward basically what i'm trying to check is whether a platform is vacant or not a train is arriving at this particular moment has any train left before that if it has left then decrease the number of platform that you have used if it hasn't left then just increase the number of platform and after that currently i'm where i'm currently at 13 and 15 right currently i'm here so now i'll check a train arrives at 13 has any train left uh, before 13 no uh, the train the earliest train will leave at 15 right we know that so i'll increase my uh, my platforms now my platforms are two and i'll increase my uh, uh, arrival uh, arrival point uh, and it will go to you know it will uh, go out of the boundary and i'll stop my loop so basically after that i'll just find the maximum values of total number of platform that i have required throughout my journey and that will give me an answer of what two so basically this is the approach that i'll be using in my railway station code i hope you have understood what i'm trying to say is i am not doing anything i'm just trying to see a train is uh, a train is arriving at x moment and has a train left before that particular moment if it has then increase the platform if it hasn't then decrease the platform sorry if it has sorry if it has departed then decrease the platform and if it hasn't departed then increase the platform sorry uh, sorry for the confusion that was what i'm trying to do okay <clears throat> now let's try uh, by the way uh, two platform right great so now let's move on to the coding part so let's start firstly i have sorry firstly i have my total number of trains okay so i'll just take my input n equals to int input okay and after that i'll just create two list arrival list and departure list so departure list done and uh, and now by the way what uh, this is my input create so after that i'll just iterate uh, till uh, sorry till all the number of times uh, all till to, uh, total number of trains okay and i'll take uh, two values a and b okay so i'll map them into int take input and split them it will just give me two values great so i'll in uh, i'll append the value of a i'll append the value of a in my uh, arrival and in my departure in my departure i'll have to append a plus b why because b is basically the total time it stays so i uh, in, if i want to find at what time is departs so i'll need to add both of them okay done great now let's start our main logic very simple the first thing that i'll need to do is i'll sort both of uh, sort both of them this is helping a lot and this is just an n login approach okay uh, departure dot sort sorry dot sort okay <clears throat> and now let's start our real uh, firstly i'll have a uh, current platforms current platform uh, this will store uh, how many how many platforms i am currently using okay and my answer so both of them are currently at one one because you know i have already assumed that i have used the first platform for the first train okay i will be my uh, arrival pointer and j will be my departure pointer i will always be at one j will always be at zero okay not always be i mean it it will start with one and uh, j will start with zero so now let's start with a condition why i uh, i is less than n and j is less than n this is our boundary condition okay after this we'll stop so now we'll check if the arrival sorry if the uh if the arrival of the new train if the uh, the train that arrives in is it uh, is it less than the departure of the previous train which means that if a train arrives at this particular moment has a train left before that uh, by the way i think it should be uh, less than equal to okay no actually uh, it should be less than uh, it should be less than why because they have given us already a note that says that if both of the trains arrive at the same time no no okay 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 i think it should be less than equal to yeah it should be less, less than equal to y because if both of the train arrived at the same time then uh, you need a different platform there for them okay then uh, less than equal to and if this is the case which means a train is arriving and none of the train has left then just increase the counter of your current platform okay and increase your what increase your arrival pointer otherwise if this is not the case otherwise just do one thing decrease the count of your current platform which means a train has left before your uh, before your current train is arriving okay and uh, increase the pointer of your departure it's that simple okay if we are only supposed to do this and after that i'll just find whichever one of this uh, is the max because you know throughout the whole journey i'll i'll definitely need different number of uh, platform at different number of time but 
since I need to find the maximum number of platform that I'll be needing so I'll just find the maximum so uh, answer plus current platform and uh, let's me just print my answer so this was uh, my code for current platform and now let's try to execute it okay and to be honest we have only one test case so we'll actually create a test case of our own in order to verify whether a code is working correctly or not so let's firstly try with this okay just give me a second okay run code so correctly working too okay now let's create another test case right so suppose uh, a train arrives at 1 and it leaves at 50 okay another train arrives at what uh, another train arrives at uh, 5 and it leaves at 45 okay and another train has arrived at, uh, arrives at what uh, another train has arrived at uh, let's say 10 and it leaves at 35 okay so i think for this i'll be needing how many i'll be needing three platforms right so let me just create the inputs uh, 3 and 1 and uh, it stays for 49 seconds 5 it stays for what 40 seconds and uh, 10 10 right it stays for 25 seconds so the answer should be 3 okay now let me check it again just the answer is 3 it's correctly working i'll just create another test case another great test case uh, let's say that a train arrives at 5 and it leaves at 35 okay another train another train arrives at uh, let's say 37 and it leaves at 45 so i'll be needing only two platforms here right so let me just create another test case 5 and 30 35 okay and another train it arrives at 37 and it stays for uh, let's say 8 seconds okay so the answer for this should be two we only need two platforms okay so let me just test it yes two so it works perfectly and this was a solution of railway station we did not waste any time in creating connections we use this connection we only we only you know we only uh, we were only focused on one particular point that whether a platform is busy or not whether the current train that is arriving has uh, any train left before that if it hasn't left then you just increase the number of platform otherwise you decrease the number of platform so that was a simple approach and i really hope that you enjoyed it and thank you for watching it